putting it together, making the base. This is just a little bit more involved. Here are the four base pieces. I'm resting them on an inside square end piece. I put the same at the other end for convenience. Here are the l square length pieces. And they're standing proud just a little bit. And this piece overhangs the width of one of the flats, like that. And the same on that side. So these two pieces are in the right place. These two in the middle will decide exactly where they go in a minute. So let's get some nails. Now the important thing to remember, we're not going to nail into the square length piece there going to let nail into the square side piece. That's very important. We're now into that. Now it doesn't matter that the vibration caused that to move, we'll just have to put it out in place again. sure it's absolutely sure that we are in the right place. Now, once they're in place, we can position the two middle pieces of the base. Now again, precisely where they go doesn't really matter. For a start, nobody's going to see it anyway. But they get two nails in each end. Oops. Nails bent there. Use the claw hammer. Take it out. Throw the nail away. Use a new nail. And remember, you do this exactly the same at the other end. Let's look at it in a bit more detail. There are the four long flats to make up the base. But where exactly do they go? Here's how we figure it out. You take one of the inside end square pieces, two of the inside length pieces, and two of the two pieces of flat, and that there is precisely where the base pieces go. Put a nail in there, and remember, the nail has to go into the end square piece. It should not go into the inside square lengths. Once you've done that, you can put on the remaining two pieces of the base, two nails in each, and do the same on the other side. So there's the piece we've just finished. Now we'll turn it the right way up. This is the way the base is going to be when it's finished. Now we could put the square lengths in place. Now that's actually going to be difficult to nail because we really want to put the nails in from the other side. So what we'll do is we'll just put in a couple of nails just to tack it in place. Now the nails are only just going to penetrate the long flats underneath. But that doesn't matter. All we need is for the square pieces to be kept in place temporarily. So two nails in each. making sure that all corners line up. Then we can turn it over carefully and now we can put the final nails in from the top and we'll put four for each length making sure that now when we put it through it actually goes into the square piece underneath.
and the same on the other side. Here we are again. Turn it piece over and put the two square lengths in place, corners to corners. Put two nails in each just to tack it into place. Then turn it over again and put four nails in each length. 